Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. This is going to be a look ahead to the Philadelphia Flyers at home tonight against the Columbus Blue Jackets. This is Sports Fanatic News. I am Joe Borick. The Columbus Blue Jackets are 30, 25, and 5, and 5th in the Met, and the Flyers are 31, 19, and 10 coming into this game, and are 3rd in the Metropolitan. This is going to be Peter Mrazek's first start in net. As a Flyers goaltender, his record on the season is 8-7-3 with a 2.89 goals against and a 9-1-0 save percentage. And also, he has three shutouts on the year, three first stores, three second stores, and three third stores. Uh, in terms of the shutouts, that's something the Flyers lack a lot of this year. This is a game the Flyers are obviously going to have to play similar to our last appearance and obviously get pressure, uh, get pressure in front of Bob, put bodies in front of Bob and make it tough for him to see the puck because if Bobrovsky can see the puck, he's going to make the save eight times out of ten whether you have a breakaway, a wide open slap shot, or whatever, because he's that good, you need to get really open shots, great setups like we did last game against them, or good traffic in front of the net, and then you're fine. Or a defensive breakdown, is which is something Columbus is a bit prone to this year. So, the Flyers should come in with a similar game plan to the last time they played. I think G will have a continuing success tonight as he's been on a hot streak of late. It seems like Travis Konechny is not going to be a go tonight due to the problem with his leg. And, yeah, his knee injury is still problematic but he's listed as probable, but then seven hours ago today, it said knee injury, still problematic. Yeah, it says he did not put much weight right here for Rotowire on his injured left foot during a quick twirl in the Thursday morning session. So... Here it's saying it's knee, here it's saying foot. I'm, I think it's foot. For some reason, this article's stupid and um, says knee. But either way, his side of his body that was affected by the injury, he wasn't able to put much weight on it during practice, and that is a cause for concern. And probably a good idea to say just sit this one out tonight, even though it's a big game, because you're going to want a guy like Konechny for the foreseeable future and not risk him just for this game. I also look for Lindholm to keep continuing to do well. I think Morazic will do well in his first game. And then look for G, Voracek. And I also think, especially if TK doesn't play, he'll be in the lineup. I think Jordan Wheel will have a really good game because he's been playing very good of late, but they're just going to need to get net front presence, Mrazic's going to have to play a good game because the Blue Jackets are among the league leaders in shots on net, but they are also in the bottom tier of the league amongst goals. So they get a lot of shots, but that's because they shoot the puck from pretty much anywhere and don't always get the most cl Class A opportune shots. So the Flyers' defense just needs to let them have their crappy shots if they want them like they did last game. They outshot us, but I guarantee you 15 of those shots at least were not very opportune shots. So... Just keep doing that, and the Flyers should be able to win this game, especially now because it's at home, and the Flyers have been very good on home ice, and the last time we beat them 
which was a really good game by us, was not here. So, it's just been a look ahead to the Columbus Blue Jackets who are facing us at home. And I think the Flyers, as long as they play similar to their last appearance, will beat the Blue Jackets tonight. Have a great Thursday, everybody. Peace out.